Anyway, so I got kind of scared after all that and then I stopped swiping and then the next day when I woke up, my account was terminated. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of got banned from this right-wing dating app in less than 24 hours. What are you looking for in a partner? They just have to be a conservative. Personally, I like the alpha male vibe. I just prefer my men to be masculine. Can't be a Democrat. Find the right match. Download The Right Stuff today. So it's no surprise that the right-wing dating app The Right Stuff failed miserably. After all, what kind of person would willingly join an app that sounds like it was named by baby Ben Shapiro. The Right Stuff is a dating app by conservatives for conservatives that you have to be invited to. So I thought, you know what? Why not give it a shot? It was this lady who said that girls just went to Bernie Sanders rallies in order to meet boys, and those aren't really a thing anymore, so why not swing to the hard right? Let me show you what the fuck I'm talking about over here. My about, cold beer, blue jeans, my lord and savior, Jesus Christ. Patrick, if you like humor with a bit of sarcasm along with being mature enough to actually handle a real conversation, hi, that's me. Oh my gosh, that's kind of like a Taylor Swift song. Living in Los Angeles area can feel like I'm surrounded by clouds all the time. So I'm just walking around seeing so many new jokes to jab at. Oh, buddy, you said bring on the clowns. He works at UPS slash an artist. So you know what? Union strong. When the right isn't being force fed propaganda, they'd realize like, oh shit. Yeah, I want the most value for my labor. Hell yeah. I get along best with people who are not liberal. <laughs> This year, I really wanted to find someone who I can enjoy life with and talk shit about the left. You know, for somebody who's trying to avoid clowns, it's acting pretty clowny. A random fact I love about America is, no matter how dumb things get, we are still protected with our constitutional rights. Is this a fake account? Are you doing a deep dive like I am? Okay, Adrian, I see you. Biggest risk I've ever taken. Getting vaccinated! <laughs> okay, so he's vaccinated. Cool. A random fact I love about America is you can have a fulfilling career without drowning yourself in debt. I mean, I guess. Does this guy listen to Dave Ramsey? Oh, we matched. How about Aaron? <gasps> Aaron is a pilot and here's something. First things first, I gotta tell you. Most pilots are gonna be conservative. If you're swiping along other apps and you see that somebody's a pilot, he's probably gonna cheat on you and he's probably really conservative. Just swipe left, don't even bother. And no, I have not dated a pilot. I've just, I'm friends with girlies who have dated pilots and it never ended well. I'm the owner of a marketing company that loves to travel and see the world, looking for someone that shares my values and is also looking for something serious much you want to bet he's going to end up as a passport bro? How much you want to bet? Biggest risk I've ever taken is stating my political opinion in public. You literally fly planes, the teeny tiny ones, the kind that when they crash, they might end up on the news. And you're saying the riskiest thing that you've done is state your opinion in public. Oh, look at that. We liked each other. Oh, wait, hold on. This guy's funny. Marvin, he's got a picture of his wife. I hate women and also democracy. You go, Marvin. His work, Q. <gasps> we found QAnon. His name is Marvin. School is for gays. Yeah. A random fact I love about America is the Pledge of Allegiance is a template that any country can use and is also used to have a Nazi salute in it prior to World War II. Alexa, change the minds of millions of people. Fact about me that surprises people, I used to be a Republican. I like you, Marvin. You're, you're, you're cool. And to think he was also invited by the right stuff. Ooh, Ben. Starting strong with a dog. Let's go straight to the good stuff. I'm weirdly attracted to unvaccinated, libertarian, Republican, independent women that know how to shoot, make me laugh, wants kids and build a house together and homeschool them. Buddy moved to Utah. They say that Hallmark movies are women's fantasies. 
I think it's kind of your fantasy. I love how it's weirdly attracted to. Like, these are all things that conservatives are probably going to be attracted to anyway. And here's like, yeah, I know I'm weirdly attracted to this completely normal stuff for conservatives on this conservative app. Best Twitter account to follow, the baby loan be Elon Musk. A life goal of mine is wife, family, kids, ranch, and living off grid and getting away from the government. I'm scared of you. You are not quirky in the Joseph Gordon-Levitt kind of way. You are spooky. You have bad things to hide. Somebody look up Ben's internet history. God, I wonder how many of these guys are gonna turn out to be serial killers later. Smooth talking salesman that prefers bears to people. Maybe he's gay. Alexa, change the president. <laughs> the most controversial opinion is None if I'm with the right people. Ah, I see what you did there. The right people. Ah. The perfect Sunday is something off the grid. Why are all these guys wanting to be off the grid? These guys freak me out. And listen, I understand wanting to get away, but these guys saying they want to go off the grid, they want to homeschool their children, they want like a stay-at-home wife and to build a house in the middle of nowhere, like it's a little spooky. I think I think these guys are serial killers. You know what? Tyler seems cool. I enjoy spending time with friends and family. Bomb diggity. We we love that. That's great. Favorite liberal lie. Oh, whoa, hold on. Larry Elder, Kyle Rittenhouse, and Candace Owens, to name a few, are white supremacists. Okay, this looks like a Tinder bio that he probably just copy and pasted, so cool. Oh, he's a social media marketing manager. God, I wonder for what. A life goal of mine is to work for myself. My simple pleasures, iced coffee, closing a bunch of tabs after completing something and eating food while watching the perfect YouTube video or TV show. If loving this is wrong, I don't want to be right. Cleaning your ear with a Q-tip. You know what? This is a good profile. He's not as militant as some of the other ones. So you know what? I, I like you. You, you go, Lucas. Favorite liberal lie. Besides the entire history of our country, that the slave ship arriving in 1619 was just the end of what happened. January 6th was a protest <laughs> where a select few got out of hand and the police shot a protester for no reason. A protester. We're just gonna ignore the zip ties and all the people who brought dangerous weaponry and we're ready to kill representatives. But yeah, that was just a protest. My favorite conservative pundit is, it's a tie between Michael Knowles and Matt Walsh. <laughs> oh no, we have law enforcement. Ah! Did you know that 40% of cops donate to charity? It's true. Just Google cops 40%. Biggest risk I've ever taken. Quit my job at ESPN after seven years over the vax mandate. That's definitely the biggest risk for sure. Um, I hope it was worth it. I get along best with people who reject groupthink, have strong morals and values, believe in a creator, and aren't neurotically afraid of a flu that 99.9% .9 of humans survive. <laughs> Nope. Life goal of mine is to meet the right soulmate and get married and have kids. Is anybody out there anti-vaccines as well? I'm a Christian conservative. I do not like Democrats or liberals. I take pride in my country and the American flag. God bless America and in God we trust. I like riding horses. I voted for Trumps and pro-life and I'm anti-vaccines. Moji, 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 moji. Whoa, we have hit the jackpot. The co-founder of The Right Stuff swiped right on me. Wow, he's already proposing dates on Valentine's Day. This is like an open calendar invite to spend Valentine's Day with him at the Getty Museum. Wonderful museum. But don't you think it's kind of wild? It's This is like when you schedule your own doctor's appointment when they send you a calendar invite link. Together we could hike Mount Whitney. My simple pleasure is walking in the morning, breathing in the fresh air, and feeling the sunshine on my face. That's so nice and wholesome. Biggest risk I've ever taken, joining the Trump campaign in 2015 when everyone thought he was a joke. Well, it was nice while it lasted. If we're going to sink, then we're going to sink together and beautifully. 
let's make the best of it. As long as he's not the kind of dad in the future who is so depressed and upset with his marriage that he doesn't get a divorce and instead he pew pews the whole family and himself, fine. I, I don't like this metaphor that he's using with strangers. I'm a trained ballroom dancer, okay. Okay, hold on, that saved it, hold on. It's like this guy read the entire Akatar series and saw what the fuck Resand was up to by the end. He's like, yeah, okay, that works. Till death do us part, literally, okay. Books, clean linens, and white sandy beaches. <laughs> I love how he sandwiched those. I'm a trained ballroom dancer. Ugh, vaccine. I love books, clean linens, and sandy beaches. Ah. Christian, dating to marry, and looking for an adventure. My favorite liberal lie is the vax stopped transmission. Who says that? What liberal? I'm not, I don't even like liberals, but I'm just curious. I did not hear liberals say that. If anything, liberals tried the hardest to like be pretty honest about what the vaccine can and can't do and was like listening for updates the whole time, but whatever. Whoa, okay, Houston, hello, how are you doing? I like your profile very much. I'm pro-life and I voted for Trump. <laughs> Man of my dreams. Hold on, hold on, we have a message. The founder of The Right Stuff has messaged me. Hey, Sabrina. Anyway, so I got kind of scared after all that and then I stopped swiping and then the next day when I woke up, my account was terminated. So no more swiping on conservatives for me. But in all seriousness, the demise of this app is no laughing matter. Obviously it went downhill after I got banned, but really it is creepy. It's a creepy little reminder of this dangerous ideology that continues to permeate what I used to think was a pretty progressive society, but actually uh, things have kind of regressed in the last few years in a lot of ways. And now it looks like Trump might actually have another shot at the White House, so. Ah. The right stuff was supposed to be a haven for these far right people. You know, the same people who are like, women belong in the kitchen and immigrants are to blame for all of America's problems and all we need is a wall. And send more and more money to other countries across the world so they can kill innocent civilians, yeah. Yeah, these guys just love protection when it comes to walls and guns, but when you ask them to put on protection, they're like, ow, 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 it doesn't feel the same, it hurts, I can't do that. Aren't you on the pill? Oh. Now he like birth control. Oh, that would have been a good question to ask these guys. But again, I got banned in less than 24 hours, so I kind of didn't have the time. In short, they're not exactly the kind of men that you'd want to bring home to your mom. I mean, unless your mom is a boomer who was exposed to way too much lead in her childhood and actually cried when Tucker Carlson was let go. But beyond the apps, in your face conservatism, the number one reason why this app failed, and if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm worried about you, is that there were no women. No women. Can we really be surprised that women weren't really interested in being forced into the trad wife lifestyle. And don't get me wrong, if filling a trad wife kind of role is something that you want to do with your family, that should be a choice that you get to make. And the moment if for when you decide you don't wanna make that choice anymore, you should have the freedom to change your mind. That's what feminism is. It means you have the choice. It's not whatever the hell these TikTokers are talking about. Cooking skills do not equate to feminism. So to sum it up, yeah, women probably are not gonna use your app as much when there are other better apps out there that are a little bit safer, have more people to choose from and have workers behind it to actually maintain it and keep it safe. So that's pretty much why the right stuff was kind of doomed from the start. Swipe left.